George Weisbort, at the age of 84, still spends many hours a day in his studio painting and drawing as he has done most of his life. In that time he has produced literally thousands of beautiful works of art, yet he remains little known outside of the world of art critics and art connoisseurs. This film tries to understand what makes Y Sport so admired by art experts around the world, yet relatively unknown to the rest of us. My family came over from, <clears throat> from Belgium when there was a depression there. My father was a classics professor, very unsuited to being a teacher. He was very timid. I started drawing when I was about, like every child, about three or four. And it rapidly became a necessity to me, so that when my father and my parents visited old friends in St. John's Wood, the Levitans, I would take a book and make drawings while they talked. And increasingly drawing and painting became my defence against boredom of living. I think I was around 11 years old. My parents used to send me in England in a summer school every year and I was uh, living uh, the mother, George's mother. And we started to have real contact when I had uh, 18 or 20 years around because he made portraits and he started to make my portrait and then we started to talk together and uh, discover that we love the, the painting, the music. And at that time, he, gave me, he, he told me that, in fact, he started to do piano and he was very interested in, uh, in music and hesitated to go in painting or to go in the music field. He's 100% for his art. Painting is only, the only thing he loved in life. I asked him if he can give me this one or this one and gave me painting and I bought also painting when he made exhibition. He did a very big exhibition in Paris in uh, 1964-5 in uh, the gallery in Matignon, Avenue Matignon and he had a very good success and we, we think at that time that he started to be well known but in fact he is completely out of the, of the art tendance is uh, old-fashioned painting, and uh, now uh, he, he follows his own way, and he don't uh, look about uh, the fashion. He don't mind with what happened outside. He's very criticist about modern art. He hates <laughs> modern art. Art. A difference between real art, <laughs> as with real ale, real art, and contemporary art is that real art is very difficult to appreciate. It's taken me 70 years and I'm still trying to learn. Uh, con contemporary so-called art is very easy. You don't mind if you like or if you don't like. You don't, you don't mind about uh, what happened outside, about politics, about uh, e e paint, that's all. 12 hours a day, every day. Since 50 years. <laughs> this is George. John, George was a kind, a kind of chemist. He used to make his own painting, all color. He was buying powder, but he make his own uh, oil 
he boils the oil, he puts the oil in the w window to, for the sun, he makes mixture, he, he makes a lot of experiences and he put what he has done on the back of the painting. The thing he has in mind is the, the line, the line. He hates the straight line or the line, uh, strong line. He wants a smooth line. And all this painting is to try to make a line which is very soft and then strong and soft again and coming back and the repetition and the relation between the line and the, the light and the line and the shadow and the subject. My teacher, Segal, he said to me, painting is not difficult. The difficulty is learning to see. If it is disciplined, by years of study, uh, uh, drawing, painting, and so on, then it can be art. One, one, one time there was in Paris an exhibition in a private gallery. Uh, there was an exhibition of uh, some coal, and he went to this gallery and stayed in front of a coal for half, half a day. And the manager of the gallery was very anxious. What is doing this man looking at this painting so long time? So he spoke to him, and, and George came in the afternoon and looked again at the same painting and came back the next day. And the man was nearly put, putting it out because he was afraid that he, he, he destroyed the painting just looking at the painting. <laughs> and uh, George is, uh, is uh, out of, uh, his, uh, of this uh, century, in fact. He is uh, completely in his, his in all, own world. And uh, probably one day the people see that uh, art, the actual art, is based on, uh, on nothing and uh, is very flat. There is no background, uh, no interesting uh, thing. It's uh, like it's a decorative art for the moment. And uh, when we look at the George painting, you, you feel something else. You, you, you are in a, a world of the past, but with his own characteristic and his own research. So probably one day he will be recognized. I think it, in a few times he will be recognized because of the quality and the, and the beauty of, the, of his works, of his works. Certainly, certainly. Thank you.